I actually think there's a lot of common ground. I think one piece of common ground is that we all care about not every single human being, but let's just say our, our deep professed um, belief in, in we care about women, we care about health. We care about children and parenting in different Amazingly ways. Amazingly enough, those I mean, I hear but you. But let's just say there are certain things we scan. don't. Right, but let's just let's just take a moment to consider that possibly we do all care about those things, and then there are certain things that possibly are on the agenda or on the Republican agenda. Let's just say that actually, I think most people, maybe not a huge majority, but they don't necessarily agree with. For example, one thing that is we don't all agree on, and and more people want than not is legal access to abortion in some cases. So there are areas of common ground that we could acknowledge, and then there are areas that we could just expose. Hey, there's not consensus on this at all. I mean, I 100% I agree with you. I just, I, that has, has just not taken root, and it's sort of that you can superimpose it onto the gun debate and say, we can all agree that we love children and we think they should be safe in school. And how is that not the bedrock position that we're operating from? How somehow has protection of the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms that was, you know, that was imagined in a, a world pre, like, Uzi and crazy automatic machine guns, like, how does that somehow become the thing that everybody's focused on as opposed to like the basic right for safety and sanctity mm -hmm. for children? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I totally I, hear you, but, but, yeah. well, but trying but because to play to that is not working. I, I, you know, call me cynical, but I'm not, I'm not altogether convinced that, 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 you know, there is that common ground that we can make the assumption that we all care about women. And I agree. we certainly have heard from, from certainly extremists, extremists over the past few years, but I don't know that that sentiment is there. And I don't, I don't yeah. think, uh, but I feel like we shouldn't, if we would like to have an argument with the extremists, then we're going to have a very tiny argument. And then the question is, is it just the extremists? I mean, it's not just the extremists. Yeah, when you get into, when, again, when I look yeah. at younger people and, and um, the way they treat one another and uh, just what's out there in culture. And, you know, I, I start to wonder to what extent do we all love women? To what extent are these extremists just extremists? And I, and I think there is a real um, misogynist. The other uh, I think big is. element of it, of course, is that, you know, unwanted pregnancies happen because of sex. And sex is a huge, taboo, difficult, like, subject of violence is way easier to deal with in America than sex. I think there are plenty of people, and not just in the extreme, I agree with you, that who, you know, I care about women, but not sluts who can't keep their knees yeah, together. Yeah, sluts and, or, you and, know. Right. And I forgot but, my but there's a, today. But there's, <laughs> a spectrum, but there's a spectrum with wh where you can have a conversation, where I would like to be part of the conversation, 